But first, you guys, let's talk about seasonal allergies. Spring is a beautiful time of the year, but it can often bring those uncomfortable sniffles as well that we all experience. And joining me today to share some advice on how to manage these symptoms is Dr. Eric Pennyman from Summit Medical Group. Welcome to the show. Oh, thank you. It's a pleasure to be Absolutely. here. Absolutely. So allergies, it's something we all battle, I feel like. How do you go about not managing, but uh, preventing them, really? Yeah, well, in a lot of it really is managing. You can try to prevent it, and there's a lot of things that we can do to prevent and understanding how our bodies are created to help get rid of the pollens that we're breathing in, right? Okay. So here in Knoxville, we're in one of the uh, North American capitals for allergies. And so while Knoxville is a great place to live, if you have allergies, you might struggle a little bit, right? Okay. And so dealing it and then preventing it and learning how to prevent it is absolutely key from closing the windows, which I know my wife and I love sleeping with the windows open oh at night, gosh, bringing that cool air. Yeah. But when the sun sets, all the pollen that is in the upper layers of the atmosphere settles down and comes right through your windows and now you're breathing in pollens all night long and then you wake up with a stuffy nose and itchy eyes and so definitely doing that getting rid of you know open, leaving the windows open closing the windows right. HEPA filter in the house making sure your furnace has a really good allergy specific filter on it to try to filter away so try to eliminate as many of the pollens that you might come in contact with as possible but you can't eliminate them all Right, absolutely. And I understand yeah. you have some things here that uh, definitely help us all with allergies. I think I'm using some of these every single morning <laughs> now because I love being outside, like you said. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm a big yeah. outdoors person, and I also have spring allergies. I know since come moving down here eight years ago, yeah. whenever I see the Bradford pear trees blossoming, I know for me it's time to start on my Nasonex or my Flonase, <laughs> which is a cortisone nasal spray that only works on the surface in the surface of your nose and it helps block the allergic response from the pollen. So, so you know, knowing how to avoid having your allergies go crazy, because a lot of people are like, oh, time to start antihistamines, right? Right. And then they may start an antihistamine that causes them to be drowsy, then they're going to work and they're all draggy right. and they're tired, then they're wondering if their sniffly, stuffy head is due to an infection or is it just allergies? And sometimes right. they feel like they have a cold or they feel sick, because of the medicines they're taking. So right. it's much better to kind of prevent the whole allergic response yeah. in the first place. Absolutely. Yeah. And how do you do that, go about preventing that? And especially uh, for not only adults, but, but kids in general, too. I know it's yeah. a huge factor. Absolutely. And of course, the poor kids were, <laughs> yeah. you know, having telling kids to have good hand hygiene and washing right. your hands, which mm -hmm. is important not only to wash viruses and bacteria, right. but also the pollens, right? If you have a pet, your pet comes in from outside, you pet your pet, and next thing you know, you have pollens on your hands, right? And these poor kids, what do yeah. they do? If you watch them, their hands are always in their face, their mouth, yeah. they're rubbing their eyes, they're rubbing their nose, and their allergies go crazy, right? So. Uh, definitely trying to minimize the pollens once again. Right. Drinking lots of water is really key because God made us with mucus that traps yeah. the pollen. And as long as that mucus is trapped and then it naturally flows away, uh, you won't end up having such a bad allergic response. So drinking lots of water keeps the mucus thin so that it flows. So it's constantly kind of cleansing your nasal passageways. And if for poor kids with asthma, where the allergies affect the lungs and the bronchial airways, right. it helps clear all that away as well. Absolutely. Well, where yeah. do people get in touch with you guys and learn more about this and have that preventive medicine available? Yeah, so uh, definitely you can come to your family doctor, your internist, and get treatment. Your pediatrician, if you're, uh, you have young children and your poor kids are struggling, you know, classic signs of allergies in kids are the allergic mm -hmm. shiners, Absolutely. their lower eyelids get swollen, they're constantly rubbing their nose and they're sniffling. So some of those things they can go see their pediatricians we've got 80 primary care clinics all over the eastern half of uh, Tennessee we're the largest primary care group in Tennessee so happy to take care of you absolutely well thank you so much for that information yeah. today I know that's huge for everybody out there as well so thanks for joining us today oh it's been my pleasure absolutely well yeah. speaking of spring let's take a look at the latest forecast with the WAT six on your side storm team brought to you by true metal supply and good morning Victoria how you doing